Oh! Oh! What up? Hey, a picture of a picture? Yeah. Yes. Look what we got. Hey, hey, got her put together, huh? She's on. Is that a five bike? Five bikes. What do we have here? Oh, you know, I got rid of my three-year-old rack that was homemade. Pretty good, but it was homemade. We went for the new big boy Velocirac 5X bike rack. So we upped the bike, better built, better quality, and from what I've seen online, it's pretty sick. Yeah. So before we get on with the video, I just wanna clear some stuff up because I know we've had a lot of people wondering what's going on when we're gonna be back to videos. It's Ohio and it's winter now, there's snow on the ground. So that makes it a little bit tougher to ride bikes, but we're still gonna try to bring videos to you guys. I actually put a poll up on Instagram, seeing whether or not you guys wanted to see us do some snowboarding videos, and I was not expecting the response we got. We're not nearly as good at snowboarding. We're not very good, but apparently like everyone wants to see it. I'm just recovering from surgery now, starting to be able to do more stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to get back to that every Thursday video upload for you guys. But for now, we're gonna build this rack. I'm going to leave out all the boring stuff and just give you a time lapse. And then at the end, we'll go over our impressions and let you guys know what we think about it. So apparently we're supposed to build this on the car with it in the hitch but it's like 30 degrees outside right now and we don't want to do that. So, what do we do? We had a two inch receiver extender that I just used a C-clamp and bolted it onto our reverse hyper and that'll work. It's not very sturdy side to side, but up and down, I could stand on it and it's fine. Making our lives a bit easier and a bit warmer in here. Buds, we just finished putting the rack together and it looks pretty sick, but we got a little sketchy setup going on right now. Chase is trying to, oh, he's trying to test it out when it's all rigged up over there. Really sketchy. Is it rigged if it works? I know. Nice. Yep. So now I think we're gonna go put it on the car see how it looks, how it does, and then uh, tell you about it. So we were, we were feeling like the bikes were gonna be really low, but looking at it, we've got a pretty long S4 bike. Doesn't look like the back tire hangs below the hitch, which is good. The other kind of weird thing about it is, which I think we'll appreciate once we start using it more, but the top bar is offset. And they said that they do that to make sure the bikes are even because if you look straight on, the tire's here, but the frame's here. So I guess they took that into account when they're making it so that the bike stays centered on the rack, not the rack centered with the car. Honestly, that's gonna annoy the shit out of me, but if it works, it works. It's a sick rack otherwise, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. So let's see how it looks on the car.
So why did we get this rack instead of something like the ever popular one-up rack? Well, I'll tell you why. Notice my car, quite large. Roger's van, me. if you've seen it, his Sprinter van, really big. If you take that big ass van and then put a one-up rack that comes out to here on it, that's a freaking big ass rack. Yeah, there's a lot of leverage on the back of that with our 35 pound bikes. Yeah. So, and if any of you have ever been to Windrock, going up the road to the campground, very steep. Very steep, it's very, I mean, the one up rack does kind of come up a little bit, but, but still. Now we get five, five bikes, which Roger's van that we always take on all of our road trips, five seats. Now we can take five people with five bikes on the back, and the longest this rack is ever gonna be is right here. Unless you use your dropper post for some reason. Say. <laughs> but this is all it's gonna be and it's up, it's out of the way. And I think, I mean, I always like how it looks on a car with a bike on a tray, but this is a good looking rack. And it's got a freaking dampers on the bottom. So when hydraulics, you, when you lower it, you just let it go and she falls right down nice and easy. It'll go a little faster when there's five bikes on it, but just nice and easy comes down. So now you can get in the back of the truck. Very nice. I like it. We're gonna need more testing with it. So we can't give you like a full on review of how awesome it is or how much it sucks, but it's like 900 bucks comes with a wall mount for in your garage, which is really nice. Other companies make you buy that separately. It was easy to put together and so far, Everything looks like it's gonna be good. You should FaceTime Roger. FaceTime him, FaceTime him. Is he going to answer? He's not gonna answer. Oh! Oh! What up? Hey, a picture of a picture? Yeah. Yes. Look what we got. Hey, hey, got her put together, huh? She's on. Is that a five bike? Five bikes. How does it feel? Feels like shaking around. Like, feels really good. Like the bikes move a little bit, but like, it's it's sturdy. So they don't have uh, anything that they can rub against. Nope, it's uh, just it's just tires, tire. rubber on the rack. And that's it. Now, how about the tube and stuff where it goes in? Is it any way to lock it down any tighter? You know how? Yeah, that... it'll be good because it doesn't use the threaded pin anymore. It's got its own like thing. It's got yeah. dampers on it, so oh, that's cool. when it comes down, it comes down super slow. So like when you have bikes on it, there's a little lever. You like pull that, it releases it, and then it just like slowly falls down. So that's our new rack. It's pretty sick and we're excited to use it. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it's winter now in Ohio, so it's really cold. Uh, resorts are closed, snowshoe is now open today actually for their ski season. I put that poll on our Instagram. Wasn't expecting that many of you to want to see us snowboarding and skiing. So we're gonna have to go and show people how terrible we are at that. We're gonna keep mountain biking though. We're gonna keep mountain biking. Windrock is still open. I think you guys had talked about going down with Zula mm -hmm. in a couple weeks. I can't do that. I'm still not cleared from my surgery, which sucks, but who knows, maybe I'll go get some content for them. But Pisgah's open, North Carolina's still open, maybe a trip down to Canuga again. Oh yeah, Bentonville, maybe. Bentonville will definitely be on the bikes, but it might be a little bit less than we were, and you'll see some snowboarding too. Ooh. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that sub button. Hit that affiliate link for worldwide too. Yes. Get those Christmas presents. Yes. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. So one of the bad things about my homemade rack that I didn't like was kind of how I had it mounted. I had it mounted using the Lolo racks hooks. Blake and show put up a picture right now and show you. And they're pretty good for if you're just on the highway, just going straight and that's it. Once you start going like on gravel roads where the car starts to pitch side to side or bumps or just anything that includes shuttling, the bikes start to really flip and flop. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Oh.
how do they do that? <laughs> That's what it takes. We get a good thumbnail for you guys. How was the uh, the sports bra like? Not awesome. Very uncomfortable. <laughs>